Welcome to another episode of SQL Server Tutorial. Today I am going to talk about referential integrity constraint. With this simple example, we will try to understand referential integrity. We have two tables here, product and category. Both tables are related with category key columns. In product table, product key 1 to 3 is categorized as 1. And as per category table, 1 means bike. If bike category row is deleted from category table, there will be no way to know the meaning of category 1 from product table. By default, SQL Server does not support this kind of deletion from related tables. Technically, it is called referential integrity. Now, we are going to use SQL Server Management Studio to understand various options of referential integrity. These are product category table and this is product table. If you try to delete this, delete this from product category table, let's see what happened. It's like this delete statement, execute. We got long red error message. It's saying the delete statement conflicted with the reference constraint. Why this is happening? Let's investigate. Select product table under keys, right click and modify foreign key constraint in this section insert and delete specification delete rules no action update rule no action we got delete error message for these settings here you can see four options to control delete action we are setting it to default with these settings if we delete product category from category table then value of this column will be will set to default if we set it to null then the value of this key will be null if we select cascade all product will be deleted of this category we are setting it to cascade close now we are going to delete this row from product category table execute the statement now you can see the product category key one is deleted from product category as we said the referential integrity as cascade so product category one also deleted from product table now we are going to change it to set null we are going to delete category id2 also category key 2 is uh, deleted from category table and here you can see category key value converted to null in product table now we are going to test default so set, set it to default close it assign a default value to the column for this case it is 4 set the table our target is if we delete category 3 from category table all product of category 3 in product table will set to pro category 4 execute the statement category 3 is deleted from category table and all other row converted to category 4. I think you have got basic idea about referential integrity. Please subscribe to my channel and post comments.